Okay. It's advent calendar time. I almost forgot I have to go into my sister's work to finish those Christmas cards today. So we're on day four, which is right here. So I want to do these real quick and head out the door. I'm supposed to do, I think we're doing a collab today. I could tell you if you're here. I know we are because I have it written down. Yeah, today's a DIY collab. I'm praying I can get to it today. If not, it may be tomorrow. I know for sure tomorrow I have time, but today is really pushing it now. So, number four. Ooh. I've never done these and I've always wanted to. <laughs> they are. It's a cucumber eye mask. So I will definitely be doing this. I'm so excited about everything that's in here. I'm actually going to keep this out. So that's day four. I can't believe we're on day four already. It. I, I just feel like... I feel like... I don't know, I may have said this before, but I feel like from... Um, I'm going to do my skincare right now. I feel like from Halloween to New Year's Day is like a week. <laughs> it just doesn't... It just seems to go so fast, you know? So, uh, I don't know. It just seems to go so fast. And, and it just seems like... It's Halloween, then all of a sudden, bam, it's Thanksgiving. And now, you know, it, it'll be Christmas before we even realize it. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just think it goes way, way, way too fast. <sighs> I'm trying to enjoy every day of it, you know. And not be... I try not to, like, wish or rush my days. Because I just... um I just don't want to do that. So, um, anyway, so I'm going to do my other advent calendar and then I'm going to, oh, I want to, uh, maybe I'll, I thought I brought them in here, but I did not. I wanted to show you what I won yesterday. Let me go get them. Hold on a second. I'm just going to go grab them real quick. So, yesterday at our fundraiser, our uh, benefit for our girl, Sarah, I'll tell you all about that on my ride down, but it was very successful, extremely successful. But, so, we did tip boards um, on gift cards, and then somebody brought, you saw all those poinsettias, and we put lottery card, gift, lottery tickets in them and stuff. Those went like hotcakes. We could, I mean, we couldn't, we could have probably went through a whole nother dozen of those. Uh, but anyway, we got, um, so we had gift cards. So I, I bought a couple tips and stuff and I feel like I have a piece of hair in my mouth. And, um, I won a $30 gift card to Ricardo's. This is Roman's favorite restaurant. We were just there Saturday for his birthday dinner. And then I won a $25 gift card to Urbaniacs. That's the meat market we always go to. And then my all-time favorite, <laughs> where Roman works, I won a $50 gift card. <laughs> so I won three gift cards. But the ultimate prize I won, I was like, my sister come over and she's like, here's what you won. I was like, are you kidding me? Look at what I won. I won that snowman. I know I can't get them all in the, isn't that cute? So I know what I, I know where he's going. Um, so one of Sarah's aunts did all, a couple of her aunts did all this quilting and one of her cousins. Oh my gosh. Those, the quilting things were so gorgeous. So I know where he's going. He's going to my living room. I'm just going to put a, um, a little clear, th uh, three M on the wall to hang him and he might stay up past Christmas. I'm thinking he's staying up through January. So, because I love like snowmen and stuff for the, you know, because it's 
winter snowy here. So, um, but yeah, that's what I won. I was so excited. Um, I was so happy with everything I won. Um, now I spent quite a bit of money, but I took, I put money aside for this cause I knew I wanted to spend it and I did. Um, so anyway, somebody's calling me. I'll be back. Okay, and I don't know when this video is going to get uploaded either because um, I'm going to be gone and then I have bingo tonight. So it might not be till tonight. It might not make it till overnight. Oh, a little house. Look at how cute. So um, there's that little home. So that's day, that was day one, day two, day three, day four. So, um, how many more on this one? It's five and six. And then each of these is a layer. So, that is that for now. So, I'll see you in the car. Alrighty. We are heading out. It's cold. Cold today. It wasn't too bad yesterday or Saturday, but it's cold today and it's rainy. It started raining yesterday afternoon and it like did not stop. It was just everywhere you drove, you went through all these puddles and oh my goodness. So another rainy day here. Of course, everyone will say it's better than snow, but not really. If this would have been snow, it would have been a lot. Sometimes it's easier when it's snow instead of all this rain, but anyway so our event yesterday went so well i did not get to film um people start coming in at like 11 11 30. it started at noon and we put the food out right at noon um <clears throat> but oh my goodness it was just it was awesome it was so awesome all the support all it was wall-to-wall -wall people for a long time we just, we started selling like even a little before noon. We sold four boxes of instants, one big box, three smaller boxes. Um, we sold, I don't even know how many tip boards we sold. We sold a ton of them. Um, and, uh, boy, it's cold. Um, soon my car will be in the garage for the winter, which will be nice. Um, <clears throat> but, then we had like big prizes. People were bringing, like we had a Michael Kors purse somebody brought and they wanted it raffled separately. And um, and that, that gets to be a problem because it, you only have, I only had so much room to put stuff. So uh, we ended up just walking around to sell tip boards on the Michael Kors purse. And then um, we had a, a coach purse and that took forever, uh, but it was against the wall at a table. So somebody then, grabbed it and took it around and finished selling that out. And then somebody brought a crossbow yesterday. So we tipped that off. So it was just a lot of, um, a lot of stuff people brought and you know, everybody wants their, you know, this is this much money. You should be able to get this much. And it's like, well, first of all, it's a donation. And secondly, I, you know, we already, we didn't, I didn't know those two other items were coming. So it kind of makes it tough to try to squeeze stuff in. But what we ended up doing, which I knew we would have more than enough gift cards. So I took some of the grocery store coup coupons, gift cards, the gas gift cards, and was there anything else? Gas, grocery, oh, and Amazon. So I took those gift cards and um, what ended up happening, it kind of, kind of worked out really neat. Nobody claimed the coach purse. We announced it, announced it. We walked around with it, had everybody look at their tickets. Nobody claimed it. I don't know if that was on purpose. I have no idea. So, um, but I mean, we, it's not, wasn't for a lack of trying. We really tried to give away that purse and nobody claimed it. So people were like, well, what happens if nobody claims it? I said, then it goes to Sarah. I'm like, that this is what the you know she's the benefit you know or, you know that she was oh my gosh why can't I talk she's who we did the benefit for so I'm like it goes to Sarah I said anything unclaimed goes to her and they're like oh okay that's good so I'm like okay because <laughs> I thought people would give me a hard time but the tips were only a dollar it's not like people spend a ton of money on them you know they only spend a couple bucks on a tip so 
so the purse ended so what I did then was I put the extra gift cards in the bottom of the purse and then I put all the cash in the purse and then I gave it to um, she was there for a while she was probably there for about three hours and then she went home um, <clears throat> but her husband was there the whole time and her kids and stuff so I uh, I gave it to her husband at the end and, that, and he he didn't even know what to say. He was at a loss for words because we did over $12,000. Um, probably when it's all said and done, it'll be over 13 if you add in the gift cards. And there are some people still um, mailing her stuff. So, um, and I had already given her a $500 check and a $250 check. So, I know it's going to be over, I know it's over 13000 that they ended up getting. So, um, I, I just, that was so awesome. And then the surprise of the day was this one parishioner, he had asked Ray, he said, can you give me information on Sarah? You know, like, like logistics, her age and all that stuff. So Ray told him, he's like, I belong to this group. And he goes, I'm, we give money to people like this. He goes, I'm going to see if I can get money. So Ray's like, oh, Okay. It's called the Saints and Sinners. And um, so he walked in yesterday with a $1,000 check made out to her. I was like, I mean, I was like bawling my eyes out. I'm like, I can't, I just could not get over. I mean, that just tells you what, what kind of person she is, first of all. She is amazing. She is the nicest person. And, um, you know, just all the support and stuff was just amazing and um so that was that was like a huge surprise and I was like oh my gosh I just I couldn't I just couldn't get over it and so you know everybody was so generous our auction looks so awesome um and that probably brought in the most money I mean that people were over there all day long and um <clears throat> so that that went really well the 5050 brought in $1300. Um actually 1299. So I'm like I'm putting a dollar in so it'll be 1300. I said even 1300. So the winner got 650. It was actually a parishioner. <coughs> I know she kept some of the money. And then I know she did give them something. I didn't ask or anything, but she cuz she came up to me after and she's like, I did give them some money back. I'm like, that's fine. That's that's you. That That's not my business. <laughs> that's between you and them. So I know they got some money back from that too. So most people wrote her name on every ticket. So, uh, but the quilt, she won the Christmas quilt because everybody put her name on it. She won the train quilt because everybody put her name on it. And then her cousin or her cousin won the Afghan. So, um, so that's how that went. It was just so nice and such a good success. And, um, for the most part, everybody was like pleasant and happy. And, um, she was really thrilled to see like her whole family and stuff. And, you know, cause she texted Ray and I, and she goes, you know, cause she didn't want to do it at first and and you know Ray kind of said you know well you know this 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 and, and this and and he also said to her Sarah it's all it's always bigger than just a just a money maker he's like it's it's bigger than that so she texted us a real nice message last night and she goes and and you're so right it was so much more than just a fundraiser um she's like it was a gathering of family and friends and it was just an awesome day. So I know she was real happy and that oh, that's what we wanted. So I am here, it's not that far from my house. It's actually almost to our downtown area, but not quite. So I'm gonna go in and finish these cards up and help her decorate. Then hopefully I get to get to the bank and I, I need to go grocery shopping because I have zero fruit in my house. And so I just need some stuff. I need to go and get some stuff. So 
Um, hopefully I'll be able to do that. So I am signing off and hopefully I'll be back to do my DIY. And I think that'll be it for today. I have to work bingo tonight and that's it. So I'm hoping I can get all this done so I have time to um, get this video done for today because I'm doing my videos pretty much as the day as the day is here because I I just don't have time a lot of time to do advanced stuff the only thing I have advanced right now is my soup and that's like not till the 19th so I got to keep remembering not to delete that video <laughs> so um other than that I'll talk to you later <sighs> okay I'm finally done it's 20 after 2 <sighs> that was a long long day so I want to run to the store and do my grocery shopping because I have nothing in my house at all. So, <clears throat> especially for lunches, I have nothing for the boys. Nothing. I was like scrimping and scraping around trying to find something to throw in their lunches today. I have lunch meat. I got that, but... <clears throat> I had like no snacks or nothing, so it was pretty thin on lunch today. I, however, had a small salad and soup that we got from a little restaurant downtown here. The one girl went out and picked it up and brought it. So, done with that. Um, what else? I put my seat warmer on because I'm cold. It is bitter. Um, so I'm going to try to hit the grocery store. Here's my dilemma. My kid emailed, um, and he's like, hey, I might not have play practice tonight because they're doing, they do certain blocks of the show and stuff. And so he's like, he's like, I might not have to be there. So my husband responded to him and he's like, all right, well, let your mom know because she'll have to come get you. Um, cause he was planning on getting him, but if he doesn't have to. Than I do so that's so I'm like I want to so I'm just gonna run to the Walmart that's by my house we call it ghetto mart and uh, I like I don't have like any of the yogurt covered raisins I'd like to put those in their lunch um, I actually have not been putting very much in my son's lunch at all um, just because he has lunch so early that uh, he doesn't eat very much. So he's like, you know, so I'm, I just, I haven't been putting much in it. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Okay. So I'm going to head there. I just want to, I was going to, I, I forgot I had to go to my sister's today to her work. And I, I had it all planned out what I was going to do this morning. <laughs> Cause I didn't write it in my planner because it was kind of a last minute thing she called me Friday and she's like hey what are you doing <laughs> like what do you need and she goes I need you to come down and do these invites for our party I'm like oh that's right I'm like yeah I can come down so I didn't really have much going Friday morning and I was only there till one because Roman got out of school early so then I just didn't even write it in my planner that I had to go back today <laughs> so I luckily I, I, I was I was up really early before 5.30 today and um, as soon as the boys left I went to my desk and started uh, doing some stuff getting my banking ready for today and because um, I didn't get to do any banking on Friday now I'm gonna yawn because I'm sitting and I put my heat warmer on um, so I thought well I'll get my I'll start by getting my banking ready and then I'm going to um, uh, figure out my shopping list for Christmas like for food and stuff because I want to start getting that stuff together I have a ham <coughs> I got that spiral ham from whatchamacallit uh, butcher box and then we do have another like ham butt and stuff because we're we're gonna have about 20 some people for Christmas so um, but I need to make, I want to get, uh, stuff for the dishes I'm going to make. And, um, but I, I wanted to write all that down and then, you know, create my shopping list. But that 
didn't happen because she's like, you're still coming today, right? And she texted me. It was just a little bit after 7. And I was like, oh, yeah. What time do you want me there? <laughs> she's like, 8.30. I'm like, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> so, but we got it all. I got all the invites done. I do up over 150 of them. And then uh, we Christmas decorated. Um, I put, they put their entryway, oh, their entryway when you walk in, um, it has their names, you know, on the wall. So we, they have a swag of a Merry Christmas. So we hang that and then there's two trees that go on either side. Got, oh, no, I'm good. It's like I forgot to turn there, but I can turn up here. So I got those up and then fluffed and then I put the, they have ornaments I put on and they have like picks they put picks in there so I put the picks in and stars on the top got the stars on uh, I made my sister she was running to the store I'm like get new tree skirts oh these tree skirts were terrible she was just using like white cotton like crap she probably got it at the dollar store <laughs> I was like get get real like tree skirts so she did and they oh my god a million times better and then she puts fake presents under the trees. So she put the fake presents under, uh, or what we did. And then she bought a new tree for inside the one uh, room, the one, uh, what do you call that room? Conference room. So we got that put together and uh, decorated that up. So that looks nice. And, um, but she didn't buy a star for the top. So I'm like, try to find like a star that'll match the ones that are in the lobby because you can see this tree from the lobby and everything too so um so I said when you go out tonight shopping because she has to go shopping for the kids Christmas party at the club which is Saturday morning um the kids they do 10 and under member kids only and they have a little Christmas party for them so um she's going out shopping tonight so I was like get a star so that that'll have a and then that one has a mat that one already had a nice skirt for it and it matches the one she got for the ones in the lobby so it all looked really nice um and then we we like hang bows around like the, those glittery bows and um just some other stuff um we put stuff by the fireplace and so goodness done we put lights up and garlands and I did most of it because she ended she left and because I was I had to stop with the cards because I was out of cards and stuff so she went and um, the printer made some more so she went and picked them up so I said well since I'm I have to stop I said you go do that I'll start decorating so that's what we did so that's all done and um So now I'm just gonna head over to the store. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get the basics right now. I'm not gonna, cause I, I could start getting what I want for my Christmas dinner, but I want to write it down, and look it up and stuff. So, not, you know what I mean. Look up my, look at my menu, what I'm having, and write it all down, what I want to get. So, uh, I'm just gonna get my basics to get me through this week, which will be just some fruit and. Uh, I don't need anything else like I have I have lettuce and stuff like that so uh, do I have enough potatoes I'm not going to Wegmans because I'm not I just don't feel like driving all the way we don't have we have nothing on the east side of town everything is on the west side of town there's two Wegmans on the west side of town there's two giant eagles on the west side of town there is one on the east side but it's pretty far out or it's you know from me so uh we have nothing. We have Walmart, Ghetto Mart, and it looks like it's crowded. If I was going to go this morning when I had planned, <laughs> if I wouldn't have forgot. Oh my gosh. So, anyway, that's one, one task out of the way for the week. So, that is about it 
for me. Uh, I'm just going to wait and see with my kid when I need to pick him up. If I need to pick him up. If not, then he'll be home at 5 when his dad gets him. And I'll be gone by then because I'm going to... I'm working bingo tonight for my sister. She usually runs it. But when she can't, then I run it for her. And since she cannot... Because they're going shopping for that stuff tonight. Because she has no other nights. Tomorrow night we have the booster meeting for the for the football team, which they lost, but they didn't have their meeting last week. I figured why uh, it was parent-teacher conference night, because I was like, oh, I know why we don't have a meeting. Everybody's here for parent-teacher conference night. So um, so they're supposed to have a, their last wrap-up meeting tonight, tomorrow night. So, But I don't think it'll be busy. I really don't. So... I'm probably full of sparkles and glitter and everything else. My hands are all dried out from fluffing trees and touching all that stuff. Plus, that office is so, so dusty. I was trying to stick stuff, and I'm like, nothing will stick because there's so much dust. So, I'm like, do you have, a, like, a rag I can wipe things down because this is so dusty? And, uh, I don't know. I couldn't stand that if it was mine, but... Anyhow, I don't think they have anybody that cleans there, so I could tell by like the bathrooms, like the top of the toilet paper holders got like a thick coating of dust. The floor around the outside, the, you know, along the edges was all caked with dust, and so I don't think they have anybody clean there. I could see something on my glasses. There we go. <clears throat> so, anyway, I'm here. I'm going to go get the few things I need, go home, let my dog out, and then just see if my kid calls me and lets me know if that he is, uh, either I'm picking him up or Ray, so that will probably end my Vlogmas Day 4. Today's my brother-in-law's birthday, so when we were going to have Roman, we went to the doctor, it was a Monday. And she was like, okay, we're, you're coming next week. Next Monday, we're scheduling you C-section. I was so disappointed. Oh, I was so disappointed. I wanted my water to break. I wanted to run around like an idiot. Oh my God, get the, uh, get the, get the hospital bed. You know, I wanted it to be like all natural. Everything happened. And she said that, and she just like deflated my whole everything. And um, but I was afterwards, I was glad I had it that way and not natural because uh, I was up bebopping around in the hospital and these girls were like clinging to the walls trying to walk. And I was like, what the heck? And then I was like, oh, I'm like, hmm, maybe I'm glad I had it that way. So, and I had no troubles, no complications, nothing. So, um, but when she said that, I was like, okay, that's December 3rd. And I'm like, that's my nephew Tyler's birthday. And then my brother-in-law, his birthday is today, which is my my husband's brother. He was hoping we would have him on his birthday. <laughs> so, uh, but that didn't happen like that. So, anyhow, I'm going to get going. Oh, what is this message? <laughs> um, I'm going to get going and I will... Uh, talk to you all t tomorrow. I'm going to try to get my peppermint scrub in yet. And then I will. So that video should be next when I get home. And then I will see you all tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. So have a good one. Okay. So my DIY um, for today is um, sugar peppermint scrub. So in my bowl is two cups of sugar. And... We have one cup of melted coconut oil that I'm going to pour right in over the sugar. And then we're going to stir this together. And before I get it all stirred, 15 to 20 drops of peppermint essential oil. But oops, I'm dropping it all over the back. So I'm going to say that's about a teaspoon worth, maybe. 
Ooh, it's very fragrant. So you just stir it all up. Pretty simple if you ask me. That's it. Those are the three ingredients. Peppermint essential oil, two cups of sugar, 15 to 20 drops, which I say is about a teaspoon. One cup of melted olive oil, not olive oil, <laughs> coconut oil. Then you have a little jar with a lid and then I have some ribbon. I'm gonna tie it so I feel like it's dark. It's getting dark out. So I feel like my house is dark. I ha even though I have my lights on. So you fill up your jar with your scrub And this will probably make about two jars. And then let me just wipe the rim. Okay. Then you're gonna put your lid on. And I'm going to take my ribbon, wrap it around the right way. I was testing this earlier. It's not easy to do on a jar because it slides or comes off the top, but we'll get it. So there's that. And there you go. There is your cute little jar of peppermint scrub. You can use it on your face, your body, whatever you want smells so good. So that is my easy little DIY. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get my other jar and make another one. And the longer it sits, the better. Uh, so I'm going to um, put them in my cups for my, my Christmas game that we're going to play where everybody's going to get a little something. So that is it. So I hope you enjoyed my little DIY today.